Hello and welcome to Run Your App with Confidence using Firebase. My name is Liat. I'm a product manager working on Firebase here at Google. My goal for the next 30 minutes is to share some tools and practices you can adopt today to accelerate the quality of your app. As app developers and even as app users, we each intuitively know that high quality app experiences are delightful. And poor quality apps can leave us frustrated, or at worst, they can be buggy or crash, leaving us unable to accomplish an important task. And as developers, frankly, it can sometimes be hard to make quality and app performance a top priority, especially if it means taking longer to ship a new feature out to customers. Sometimes teams have to weigh the costs and benefits of adding a shiny new feature against enhancing the performance of an existing feature. When you stack these two options against each other, it's not uncommon for the shiny new feature to win out. But according to Google Play regarding app discovery ranking, apps that have strong technical performance and a good user experience are generally favored over lower quality apps. And when a user engages with a high quality app, they're more likely to stay engaged. So it's clear that there is value in making your app higher quality. Then why is it hard to prioritize? Spoiler alert, the answer is because it's hard. If you ask me what are some things you need to do to be confident that your new app or app's new feature will be high quality, here's what I would suggest. Test your app on lots of different devices. Get your app in the hands of real people for testing. Understand how your app performs in the real world and troubleshoot as needed. Seems straightforward, right? Well, my suggestion doesn't do a great job of acknowledging how hard each of these things can be. First, manual testing is expensive and not very scalable. Not everyone has in-house QA teams, meaning not everyone has resources specifically dedicated to manually testing your features before they roll out. Secondly, sending APKs and Android app bundles around to run an internal testing program can also require lots of manual work and is hard to scale. And third, performance issues can be caused by virtually anything. One of your dependencies could be having an outage that breaks an experience in your app suddenly. Or let's say your app works great on your device, but on someone else's somewhere else in the world, suddenly there are some issues that you've never ran into before. How would you know about issues like this? So today, I want to talk about how Firebase can take away some pain from the challenges I just described. Firebase has app quality tools to take a lot of the busy work and mystery out of the picture so that you can focus your time on creating great new experiences for your users. But before we dive deeper into these app quality tools, let me take a step back to introduce Firebase. Firebase provides a reliable and cohesive platform of tools and cloud services that helps solve three core problems in your app lifecycle, managing your backend, testing and monitoring, and engaging users. Firebase's tools and services are designed to help you develop your apps faster, run your apps with confidence, and engage your users effectively. For the rest of the time that we have together today, we're going to focus on this middle challenge. We will dive deeper into the tools Firebase has to offer on the app quality front so that you can monitor your app's performance and stability, troubleshoot quickly, and release with confidence. 
Let's get started by bringing back that list that I showed earlier about how to gain confidence in our app's quality. Let's walk through how to accomplish each of these things with Firebase, starting with testing your app on lots of different devices. Let's imagine that you have an app that your users like to use on the go, on their mobile phones during the day. But later in the day, they prefer to use a larger screen, like a tablet, to use their app once they're at home. For an app like this, testing across and designing to account for various makes and models of devices is an important part of meeting your users where they are. Otherwise, you're not serving all the needs they're coming to your app for. But as we mentioned earlier, doing a bunch of manual on-device testing yourself is not scalable. Maybe you or someone you know has had an experience like this before, where you end up with a lot of test devices on your desk. Not to mention, just keeping up with having all these devices alone is expensive, let alone messy, and hard to manage. Ready to take on the challenge of making this simpler is Firebase Test Lab. With Firebase Test Lab, you can validate your app on both physical and virtual devices that simulate actual user environments. So how does it work? Google has real production devices running in a Google data center ready to test your app to make automated testing on real devices way easier. Basically, you don't have to go to a store and buy a bunch of test devices yourself because we already have them waiting for you. The easiest type of test to run with TestLab is called a robot test, which requires no extra code to run. Robot tests will intelligently crawl your app, pressing buttons and navigating screens to maximize test coverage but you can customize these robot tests. So for instance, if your app requires your user to sign in to perform some meaningful actions afterwards, you can have your robot test sign in using certain account credentials. Or if you want robot to always enter some intelligent text in a search field, you can do that too. Once your app is integrated with Firebase and you have access to the Firebase console, the steps for getting started are simple. Upload your APK and select the physical and virtual devices that you want to run testing on. You will have the option to select the orientation and locale of the device. Then run your test and look through your results in the Firebase console. Let's take a look at what results look like for a real test. Results for a robot test could look something like this. You are going to be given a lot of information, and I won't dive into it all, but it includes a visualized crawl graph showing you all the paths Robo took in your app. It also will give you screenshots and videos of the full crawler experience. There's even performance and accessibility analysis right in the same place. When things go wrong, as you can see, they did for my test app, you will see something called test issues reported to you. In my test app here, my app crashed due to a null pointer exception, which I can let my team know about to investigate and fix. I wrote no extra code and in just a couple of minutes, test lab is already giving me some pointers for things I may have missed while developing my app. But robot tests are not all. We can also run customized instrumentation tests with TestLab. This is a test written by you or your team that uses the Espresso or UI Automator 2.0 Android test frameworks. You can learn more about how to create and configure these types of tests at developer.android.com. To review, TestLab give us access to lots of information to analyze how your app performs on other devices. Screenshots, videos, stack traces, and automated testing still misses something critical. Context, how can you test with real context? The answer is testing with real people. An automated crawler or an instrumentation test doesn't actually understand what users expect 
and what users will respond well to. We build apps for people, not for tests. This is why the second item on our list is particularly important. Getting your apps in the hands of real people for testing. We mentioned earlier that there's a lot of toil that comes with running a testing program yourself. There's the challenge of distributing your apps, but there's the additional challenge of tester management and troubleshooting when things go wrong. Firebase app distribution is designed to allow you to easily distribute pre-release versions of your app to trusted testers to get valuable feedback before a new release is in production. Taking the busy work of distributing your app and delivering your distributions in a way that is friendly to your testers. So instead of having to manually send all your APKs and Android app bundles to testers, Firebase app distribution lets you manage your whole internal testing program in one place. There are no required SDKs to install and no forms to fill out. You can distribute your APKs to testers instantly with no approval required. It's really as simple as uploading your distribution, attaching some release notes, and sending it out to testers. There are several ways that you can distribute Android apps with app distribution. You can use the Firebase command line interface. You can use Fastlane or even our greater plugin. Another way is distributing via the Firebase console. Say that I've uploaded an APK to the Firebase console and listed the emails of some testers that I want to include for internal testing. Now, all I have to do to get this in the hands of my testers is to add some release notes, and then it's ready to get sent off to my list of testers with just the click of a button. So what happens next from your user's point of view? They'll get an email notification when you invite them to test your app and will have the option to install the Firebase App Tester app. The Firebase App Tester app is an easy way for testers to manage all their distributions that they've been invited to try out, making the tester experience delightfully simple so your testers can focus on testing and giving you feedback on the user experience. So let's say now that our trusted testers have given us the gift of feedback on our app. Some of it is positive feedback, and some of it indicates that things need to be improved. Let's say that some testers have let us know that the app crashes shortly after they sign in. This is a data point that tells us a bit about how our app is behaving for real testers. But with this information alone, we don't have that much information to work with to correct this problem in our app. We don't know why our app is behaving this way. Answering the why question comes down to really understanding how your app performs in the real world, bringing us to the last item on our list to get to a place where we can have high confidence about our app's quality. Understanding the problem at a very granular technical level is our first step towards being able to troubleshoot and fix the problem and therefore improve the user experience. When it comes to improving the quality of an app from a purely technical standpoint, there are two important pieces to understand. The first is to understand where your app fails. In other words, where does your app completely crash and therefore no longer work for your users? To understand this, we need to understand the frequency of crashes trends in crashes, and we need to get context to help us understand what might have led up to a crash. The second is to understand where your app has bottlenecks. One simple way of looking at it is where is your app slow and why? Some examples of things that are good to know are trends in app start time, metrics for network request responsiveness, and the ratio of slow or frozen frames. Slow screens or error-prone APIs are things that make your app feel less refined. It's important not to underestimate the scope of this challenge. Crashes can be specific to things like certain devices, operating systems, or app versions. 
This applies to other types of technical performance issues, which on top of that can even depend on geographic region, phone carrier, or network connection. It's quite difficult to keep track of the wide variety of inputs that can contribute to different experiences for users of the same app. Moreover, having this many variables at play make it extra tricky to understand what to prioritize and what types of issues will yield the greatest impact to improve your app for the most users. Firebase has two tools focused on making it easier to find and address quality issues in your app. The first focuses on crashes and is called Firebase Crashlytics. Firebase Crashlytics helps you track, prioritize, and fix crashes faster. With Crashlytics running on over 3 billion devices worldwide, Crashlytics offers unique insights into how your crashes might be affecting you and what their underlying causes might be. One of many customer success stories we have here at Firebase is that of Taps Games. Taps Games is a Brazilian game developer with more than 11 million monthly active users. Taps Games used Crashlytics to investigate top crashes, determine how many users were affected, and identify the root cause of these crashes. They were able to increase their crash-free user rate from 94.6% to 99.8%, and in turn, increase in Play Store rating from 3.9 to 4.7. Accompanying Crashlytics is Firebase Performance Monitoring. Firebase Performance Monitoring is all about giving you real world actionable insights into your app quickly so that you can reduce the time to resolution for issues in your app. To get started with Crashlytics or performance monitoring, you'll have to integrate the respective SDKs in your app. Once your app starts to send events to Firebase, meaning once your app has some crashes or performance events, you will know the integration was successful when you see data in the Firebase console. To showcase the power of both these products, let's look at another demo, starting with Crashlytics. The first thing you'll notice on the dashboard is this chart titled Crash-Free Statistics. Crash-free users represent the users of your app that have not experienced any crashes in the time range that you have selected on the dashboard. This is your most critical metric for being able to quantify how crash-free your app is. Below, we get a list of issues prioritized by impact. We even get a preview right on this list of the line of code where the crash occurred. If we drill into it, we have access to data from several sessions that experienced this crash. It provides a full human-readable stack trace and more details about the type of exception that was thrown. We're also given more context about the device and operating system for that session. Technical app performance, however, doesn't just come down to being crash-free. A crash-free app can still be extremely slow and sluggish. This is where Firebase Performance Monitoring comes in. On the Firebase Performance Monitoring dashboard, you can customize your view to include the metrics that you know are most critical to your app. These can be things like app start or some particularly important screens and API calls. But some of the most important performance issues you should address might be ones that you don't even know to look out for yet. At the bottom of the dashboard, there's a table with all the performance traces collected by Firebase and some of their key metrics. To prioritize and find something that might need your attention, you can sort the entries in this table in different ways. So, for example, I can sort all network requests by response time to find my longest calls. Or I can sort by delta, allowing me to sort by greatest recent change. To drill into an issue more deeply, I can click into a metric 
and then start understanding how the performance of a given metric varies across attributes like aversion, country, and more. And to investigate even farther, you can drill into individual sessions to give you even more context into what was happening when a user experienced a low performance event. And now we're back where we started. What can you do to gain confidence in your app quality? To summarize what I've spoken about today, you can use TestLab to validate your app on various devices, so you don't have to do this manually. App distribution will help you distribute pre-release versions of your app to trusted testers so that you can get feedback from real people on the experience you created. To understand your app's crashes, Crashlytics is there to help you analyze and fix stability issues in your app that erode app quality. And Firebase Performance Monitoring takes it a, a step further to help you find and fix additional technical performance problems in your app with quick and actionable insights. I'd be remiss if I don't mention that we just scratched the surface of each of these Firebase tools. There are many, many more powerful features to take advantage of to take your app to the next level. Things like test lab game loop tests, tester management in app distribution, alerts in Crashlytics, custom code traces in performance monitoring, and so many others. I hope that you are eager to learn more and stay connected with us and the Firebase community. This is all I have for you today. Many thanks for joining me.